quite innovative. Well done, Edward. Are still talking homegrown solutions to problems. Barua community in Alimosha, local government area of Lagos State, has been facing water challenges for years due to oil spills, making the water there unfit for human consumption. But some science students in the community are changing the narrative by developing a water purification system that seeks to alleviate the sufferings of residents. Here is their story. <laughs> This problem caught the attention of some senior students of Jaconde Estate's Comprehensive Senior College, Abesson Ikpaja. The students first make a trip to the community to see the extent of the problem. Two quarter samples and then went back to their laboratory to find a solution. They come up with their own water purification process called ultrafiltration using materials available to them. We actually started with the sand, making and attracting different solid sand particles in it. After dissolving our Moringa oleophilic acid into the water, which helps in trapping microbes, we also designed in a way that we added our granular activated charcoal, which performs the job of absorption of color and odor. After doing that, we pass it through the sand again to absorb the different small particles that have come out from the um, charcoal and also through our cutting wood for absorption of tiniest microbes in the water. But the team does not stop there. They go ahead to ensure the water is completely clean and drinkable with their own distiller. After passing our water, our petroleum polluted water through the ultrafiltration process, this is the result we got. And this result is not 100% drinkable for residents around Barua area which is why we decided to introduce the distillation process. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So when this water boils, it is going to go out as vapor, which is why we decided to condense the water. As you can see, there are drops of water, meaning that the water is already condensing, giving us a pure water to drink. Okay, so this is the water we collected after condensing, after distilling water. So now, our water is ready for drinking.